In this video, I'm going to run through the integration of x times e to the 2x. So we've got our integral here. And the first thing you have to realize is we've got two different functions times each other. We've got x times e to the 2x. And where we have two functions multiplied together, the good trick that we can usually use to solve these sort of problems is to use integration by parts. And so the integration by parts formula tells us that the integral of u dv, so one of these is going to be u and one of these functions is going to be dv, is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So our first step is to look at this side. So we've got u times dv. So that means we've got to choose one of these functions to be u and one of these functions to be dv. And it matters which one you choose. You want to choose it in such a way that things simplify. And so we've got u here and we've got a du here. So we're going to have to find the derivative of u to get du. And we want this integral to be as nice as possible. And so if we were to choose u equals e to the 2x, it's not going to simplify down at all. So we actually want to choose u to be x because the derivative of x is simply 1. And so you're going to get 1 times here, and that's going to be much nicer. So you only have to worry about integrating one thing rather than integrating two things times each other, which is just going to keep the problem going on forever, potentially. So we're going to select u equal x, and we're going to let dv be e to the 2x. And so to get the remaining things in here, we need to find du, and we need to find v. And to do that, we have to find the derivative of this, and we have to integrate both sides of this. So we do that there. So the derivative here is simply giving us a dx. And then when we integrate both sides, we are simply taking this constant, dividing by it on the bottom, and then e to the 2x is staying as e to the 2x. You can also prove that this is true by doing integration by substitution with u equals 2x. And that also gives you that result. So we've now got everything we need to do the substitution. So we're going to take all of these functions and substitute them into this formula. And we end up with this result. So this is our u dv. And then we've substituted all of this and got this expression here. First thing to realize about this is we've got a constant here. That constant can simply be taken out of the integration. And we get this expression. So we've now got to do the integral of e to the 2x. And we've already seen that the integral of e to the 2x is this value here. So we can replace that. So we've done the integral of e to the 2x using our value we previously got. Add in the constant of integration. So the only thing we've got to do is tidy this up a little bit by multiplying the two halves together. And that gives us our final answer. So I've just multiplied those two halves together and got this term. This term is just simply copied down. And we've got plus c on the end. So that is our final answer. And you can now integrate x times e to the 2x. Hope this video was helpful to you. And thank you very much for watching.